When your baby starts to crawl or toddle around, falls are common. Most of the time the injury will be minor and they might not even cry, but sometimes the fall can be more serious. Once you've carried out a primary survey, you need to perform CPR if they are unresponsive and not breathing normally. However, sometimes a fall can cause other injuries, such as a broken bone or head injury. If your baby has a broken bone, you might see some of these signs. They may look in pain. They may not be able to move an arm or leg. There may be bruising or swelling. An area on the arm or leg may look deformed, bent or shortened. If you think your baby has broken a bone, try to keep them still. Don't move your baby unless they're in danger. Then call 999 or 112 for emergency help. Support the joints above and below the injured area. Use your hands for this. Put soft padding around the injury for extra support. If necessary, treat them for shock by raising their legs, but don't raise the injured leg. While waiting for help to arrive, keep checking their breathing and whether they can respond to you. Sometimes a fall can cause a head injury. If your baby has a minor head injury, they may have a bump or bruise to the head and a wound, but they're still able to respond normally. If you think your baby has a minor head injury, sit them on your lap and hold something cold against the injury to help the swelling, like an ice pack or a frozen bag of vegetables wrapped in a tea towel. Do this for a maximum of 10 minutes. While you do this, try and assess their level of response. Are their eyes open? Are they alert? Can they respond to you if you talk to them? If they only respond to voice, they're drowsy. Do they only respond if you flick the bottom of their foot? Do they only respond to pain? Are they unresponsive to any of the above? If you are worried because they're not alert or because the injury is serious, then call 999 or 112 for emergency help. If they have any wounds, treat them by applying direct pressure to the wound and keep checking their level of response. If they've had a serious knock to the head, they may have a serious head injury and show some of these signs. They may be drowsy. They may have a headache. They may be dizzy. They may vomit. They may suffer a seizure or fit. There may be fluid coming from their ears or nose and they may be unresponsive. If you know that your baby has had a severe knock to the head or you notice any of these signs or think they're getting worse, you should call 999 or 112 for emergency help and tell them that you suspect a serious head injury to a baby. While you're waiting for help to arrive, try to keep your baby still in case they've suffered a neck injury. Check your baby's breathing and prepare to start CPR if they stop breathing. So remember, if your baby has had a serious fall, perform a primary survey. If your baby is unresponsive and not breathing, call for help and ask a helper to call 999 or 112 for emergency help. If you are on your own, use a mobile on speakerphone so that you can start CPR as soon as possible. If you do not have a speakerphone, do CPR for one minute before calling for emergency help. If you think your baby has broken a bone, keep them still, support the limb and call 999 or 112 for an ambulance and keep checking their breathing and level of response. If you're worried or think that it's a serious head injury, call 999 or 112 and keep checking your baby's breathing and prepare to start CPR if necessary. And that's how you treat a baby who's had a serious fall. Thanks for watching. Help support St John Ambulance. Donate today. 